Hey there, Taurus. Hope you guys' weekend has been good to you guys. Appreciate you guys as always. Let's find out what the cards are saying, what's coming out for our highest good at this time. This is going to be for my beautiful sign of Taurus. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Taurus. Tell me about Taurus. What are you talking about? In a different direction. Two more. Somebody tried to maneuver something to go in a different direction. People trying to return. No, thank you. One more. And their ancestors showing up hard right here. The ancestors said, don't mess with mine. There's a healthy work environment here. I'm going to leave that there. We got this copycat. So my ancestors are all over this copycat. Our ancestors are over this copycat. Like, this copycat's days are numbered. This copycat has no idea what they got coming to them. My ancestors are out for blood for this person. They tried to, to, to remove me and take my spot. So, yes, guess what you got coming, sweetheart? You already know my ancestors are about to tear you up. All right. Overall energy for Taurus. Accepting that everything happens in divine order. And there's that envious eyes here. So somebody's mad and pissed off. This copycat is so mad and pissed off that they could not achieve what they tried to achieve by taking you out of your spot. I don't think so. Get you some business. But since you do want our life so bad, do be prepared to go through all the hardships that we went through. And you ain't going to make it out alive, honey. It's pretty hard. So... Acknowledging our fear, placing it with the in, inside of awareness, being more aware. Somebody was trying to, to make everybody look at you in a bad lighting. This copycat was trying to say that you were the copycat. But in fact, the copycat is the copycat. That's why they're working so hard to make everybody think that you're the copycat. It's a projection that they're the copycat. Taurus. Everything's under control. My ancestors say, our ancestors say, everything's under control. We got this. They ain't getting nothing. They're going to get what's coming to them. Everything's under control. This copycat thought that they had everything under the control. You ain't got nothing under control. And you're about to have your world rocked. Good things are about to happen for us. Yes, they are. Good things are about to happen for us. The world of our dreams is getting ready to take place for us. Career is on the rise, so continue showing up for your career field here. It's Everything's on the come up here for you. Copycat wanted to take your career, wanted just to take your spot. Taurus, you're sacred. You're something very, you're something very powerful from a past life. I take time to clear myself, and I create sacred energy for my, in, within myself internally and in my environment. So if you have an altar... Make sure you're cleansing it. And if you don't have one, you may think about wanting to make one for yourself. But take time to cleanse your energy. I am connected to my feminine side. I always balance caring for others as well as nurturing my own needs. So this is pulling your energy back from those that don't appreciate you and giving it to yourself. This is still caring for others and still being of assistance to others, but not letting anybody deplete or drain you anymore. I embrace joy. I choose to have a sunny disposition and a positive outlook, outlook regardless of the circumstances that I'm going through. So just looking at life through positivity, looking at the lessons that you've been through, finding, like shifting your perspective and looking at it in a positive lighting. Like look, look at everything that you're achieving and what you're doing by the, the cycles that you've had to go through. Taurus. I'm not underestimating my magic anymore. No, we're not. Standing in our power, making new beginnings, and that transformation is the, the, the game changer for us. The, our awakenings is us awakening to who we are. Not underestimating ourselves anymore because you've had so many people try to underestimate us. And this copycat clearly thought that they had one over on us. You ain't got nothing, you freaking heifer. Just let me be. Feeling liberated. Free spirit. Standing in your authenticity and just... You're that wild card. You're, you're the one that is not meant to be locked down, pushed down. And that's what was trying to happen here. You're a free spirit. You get to go with, you get to, to live the life that you choose to live, not what society tells you to do. Taurus. It is time to release negativity. Strong Scorpio placements. This copycat could have Scorpio placements, but it's we're releasing this negativity. So we can't hold on to the things that people do to us. It's out of our hands. We, can, we cannot control what people say and what they do, but we can control how we deal with it. We can just not let it have any power over us. 
Your energy is gaining momentum. Yeah, it is. These ancestors are whooping this copycat's butt. No. Oh. You got something special coming to you, copycat. My ancestors are... They, they got you. They, they got something special for you. Luck is on your side. Strong Sagittarius placements. You are this other person. Everything's going in your direction. Luck is on your side. Everything is working out for you as it should. Walking away. So, you had to walk away. You went in a different direction feeling that like that wasn't the right way, but it was something that there's something better coming for you now that you went in that different direction that you were trying to like to resist at first. And then you continued to, to do what you felt that you were being guided to do. And because you're doing this, you're being rewarded for that. Something better is happening for you. Talk about different direction. You got somebody here up in their head, restless, stressed. So there's some people here that aren't sleeping. Your ancestors are mentally tearing people up. Like people can't sleep. They looking they looking drained. They're not looking good. They they look like they're just being depleted, like they want it for us. Man, you got somebody here that wishes that they would have not moved the way that they moved when it comes towards you. Tell me more. You're going towards your independent, successful era here. This is you. Understanding that you've got some big shoes to fill. And this is understanding that you are meant to not take everyone with you. You, you are meant to not let anybody underestimate you, who you are anymore. Your worth, your value. So it's like you had to be stared in this direction that you weren't wanting to go at first. But it, it made you find yourself again all over. Eight of Cups. Somebody wishes they would have never walked away from you and, and moved the way that they moved. So these are these devil ball suckers, these cult leaders, these hidden cults and societies that hide themselves in churches and they hide behind godly masks. And oh, God is not happy about that. Oh, he's not. So we're going to dismantle this, this stuff up. That's what we've been called to do. Something about past life. Somebody knew something about your past life and they tried to steer in a different direction and it did not work. They thought it worked, but it blew up in their face. Tell me about these karmics trying to return. No thank you. Well, they're trying to get you to give to them again. Now that everything went on your side, now that they're being exposed and their, their wickedness is being exposed because they tried to, like, they wanted money versus you being here. It's all being exposed. So they're going to try to come in here and give you some more breadcrumbs and try to pull you to their side. Don't do not do it. Yep, trying to fill your head with illusions, confusions, trying to gaslight you, trying to, to, to make you feel like, it's okay, we, could get, we can mend this back together. No, we can't. I forgive you, but I want nothing to do with any of you guys ever again. The star. So you're the star. Got a lot of people here that are realizing that you've got a pretty amazing destiny lined up for you. And these people think that they want to ride on your coattail. I don't think so. No, thank you. They're just embarrassed because they know that they're being exposed. They tried to paint you out of something that you're not. And they're all being exposed for their wicked ways. Deception. Betrayal hurt like man these are energies that put you on the back burner and chose other people over you and now they're hoping that you choose them no thank you they're doing they're being rocked with tower moments you're the high priestess so you've had a lot of people here want to label you as crazy and you know well people will label us crazy when they aren't gifted like us so yeah some people just hate on us because we have gifts and they don't Everybody actually has gifts, but it's the people that limit themselves that they can't get to their gifts. We all have gifts. Some people just are too blind to see that. So you've got some people trying to return back here after you're keeping your silence, after they caused all this deception, all of this, this, this slander, this, this false accusations. They're trying to return and cycle back around. No, thank you. They're strategizing, trying to, to figure out to come back in. Because you got wish fulfillments coming in. You've got a beautiful life manifesting for you. And they want a piece of the pie. I don't think so. All right, ancestors. What are we talking about? Ancestors. What are we talking about? Tell me. 
the sun. Well, they're saying that the sun is going to come out for me, for us. So positivity, just so much joy and happiness. Ooh, I just heard you have redeemed our bloodline. Yeah, whatever you want is yours. Oh, I'm getting chills. Okay. All right. These ancestors are so much in favor of you. You have cleared up something pretty gnarly off of your bloodline. And oh, they are so they are so happy with you, man. All right. So much baggage and burdens that has been dumped onto you. And you have taken so much of that. Oh, all of that. You've just released so much. So much pain off of your bloodline has been lifted and released. These ancestors, the ones that did witchcraft on us. Oh, these ancestors are taking action on these people. These ancestors are ready to run up on some people. They already are. So... I so much as cry one tear. Those ancestors are right on you. Eight of Wands. These ancestors are giving you, like, these ancestors are, dump, like, giving you downloads. These ancestors are, like, giving you the fuel and they're bringing you these information at a quicker rate towards you now. And these ancestors are ruthless. Like, they don't play around. There's been a lot of people that have tried to defeat you and take you out and it's just not working. So when you're part of the, the program, yeah. I just found out that my, my family is not my real family. That my kids, my whole family, everybody was, they wanted my life to be gone because they wanted money. They, the money was more important than me. So, yeah. They done sabotaged themselves. They done defeated themselves by trying to come up against you. And they are in regret. Could be seeing fives. Fives are about some big changes. These ancestors are whooping up on some people. They are not happy. My ancestors are very much pissed off at my children because they are part of me. And my ancestors are sitting them down and having some, some talks with them. These ancestors are ready to take action and fight and battle. Like they're they're not playing around anymore. They're they're after all of you. And we get to move forward. And, oh, these ancestors are messing with your cars and everything. Ooh, I just heard, if you even think about coming towards mine, I will make your car wreck. I will flip your car over. Don't do it. Yeah, walk away. Walk away. Don't do it. The ancestors say you better walk away if you know what's good for you. Ooh, all right. Tell about this fake copycat. Let, let's, let's expose her. All of them. Tell me about copycat. Queen of Cups. This person could be a Cancer Pisces, Scorpio. Water sign. That's a Pisces. She's a hater. She's fake. She's a heifer. This is somebody that disguises herself as loving, nurturing. This person is none of those things. They're trying to copy everything about you. This copycat was trying to copy your sweet side and then you got a whole nother beast side to you that this person was unaware of. Tell me more. This person's angry hothead. They're a mess. This person's got a Jezebel spirit attached to them. That's why they're so angry. This person wants to try to, to figure out how to attack you. Oh, don't do it, honey. You heard, you seen what my ancestors said. They, they'll knock you down. Knock you down hard. Don't do it. Don't do it. The Empress, this copycat wanted your new beginnings, wanted everything from you is what this copycat wanted. And she didn't get any of it. She cannot fit her fat foot into our slipper. It is ours. This person's getting some bad news. They thought they was going to get new, good news trying to take you and they didn't get nothing. Made the wrong choice. This, this copycat... So this copycat was also trying to interfere with the love connection and your love connection chose wrong. This love, this person that was meant to connect with you, they attached themselves to a very, oh, this person only cares about money. They don't care about love. They only care about themselves. They're very selfish and very cold, narcissistic, narcissist, evil, greedy, wicked is what this copycat is. I've got air, earth, earth, water, Leo, fire, 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 water, and air. Taurus. Outside influences. So a bunch of people was getting in this person's ear about you. Mm -hmm. All these freaking fat-headed devil ball suckers. 
Always got to have something in their mouth. Talking a good old game. Running their mouth about you. And everything that they were saying to this person is who they are. It's a projection. I have felt like your love life has been cursed. Because we've been down here changing some things up. Had to not be desperate for love. Have to learn to give that love back to self. And there's a lot of differences between you and this love interest that was used to try to, to manipulate something. Tell me more. Don't let emotions control you. So there's something here about people not trying to make it seem like they're falling apart. Because people like are really like busting at the seams emotionally because of all the the stuff that they've done it's coming out like these people are like like shaking on the inside and the ancestors are like shaking them up like they're they're not gonna have any rest none of you guys are anybody that was involved in this y'all ain't gonna rest the ancestors are all over this so these energies were trying to get you to react they were trying to get you to look like you were an emotional lunatic, like you were just not stable and you were just this awful person and she needs to go. She doesn't deserve to live. Yeah, you guys just wanted me gone because of the money, right? Of course you did. You guys are sick. Manipulation, scheming, controlling, bad influences, or could have been a voodoo doll that was used on you as well. There's been all types of witchcraft that they've been trying to attack you with. These people have been... They can't do certain things themselves. They will reach out to different countries and different voodoo practitioners and just they, they'll they try to to recruit more people and none of it's working. None of it's working on you. That's why they're studying you because they can't. It's like an MK Ultra program. So like I said, I'm a trust fund baby. I w I'm in the program. I'm in the MK Ultra program. They have been following me around my entire life. They have been paying everybody to torture me. And I mean everybody that I've connected with has been torturing me my whole life. And it was all meant to be that way. To tear me down so I didn't understand who I was. I know who I am now. You guys aren't stopping nothing. Payback's a mother effort, isn't it? Studying. Got a lot of people studying you, watching you. Got these people, this copycat's been studying you, trying to, to copy everything. The way you think, the way you dress. Do you want to poop like us too? Do you want to fart like us too? <laughs> oh, shoot. What was locked is now unlocking for us because we're ready. We're ready for new experiences. That's why everything is coming out. You're a queen. You're a king. You're a natural leader. You stand out from the rest. You rule somebody's heart space here. Emotional material loss. This is what, if you're like me, this is what I've dealt with my entire life. And it was meant to go this way. Because it was meant to just beat us down to where we, to, to the point was, is where we take our lives. So, wanted us to give up. Stay in that scarcity mindset. That was the whole, the whole ideal to go down. Got somebody here fantasizing about you. You're meant to have a blessed union with somebody. A love that's meant to transform you. You have a divine mission that you're meant to have with somebody here. Manifesting your dreams. Your power has been activated. Everything is flowing easily to you at this time. So just continue working on your manifestations. Make sure you're activating yourself. Understanding self. This person went in another direction. They wish they would have never chose this copycat over you because the copycat's being exposed. Copycats always fall on their face because they're being unauthentic. They're being fake. Fake always falls. We figured out who we are, what we want, so we just continued working on ourselves. Unbreakable bond, strong and stable relationship, a love that's meant to last a lifetime is what you're meant to have with somebody here. You are meant to stay in this procrastinating energy, not taking action, just what they wanted for you is what's happening to them. They got no drive. They got no action. Like they're all falling apart emotionally, physically, spiritually, because that's what they wanted for you. New connections, bringing in new connections, cutting out these karmic connections. When we cut out these karmic connections that are around us, friends, family, we make room for healthy connections, our people, our soul tribe. That's what we make room for. 
something was not the right time. Somebody wishes that they did not do what they did. It wasn't the right time. It never was going to be the right time because you never were going to achieve what you were trying to achieve. A waiting period. Somebody's been waiting and yearning for you. And you're over here rising up. You are the star. You are meant to have certain levels of fame and fortune to your name. You're being recognized. And this is why this copycat wanted to, to put her fat foot in your slipper. Because of who you are and what you're meant to have. The wealth that is attached to your name. This heifer thought that they was going to get a piece of that. I don't think so. So it was almost like... The, so your, your, your person, your love interest, your, they were seduced... They were weakened by this copycat. The bad intentions, the red flags, the lies, the deception, all being exposed. You're tapping into infinite abundance. Unexpected windfalls coming towards you. You know your worth, you know your value, so we're going to attract that towards us. And all hell is breaking loose. All the drama, it's, get your popcorn, it's about to get good. All the drama's coming out. It's not fun anymore, is it? It's all fun and games when you guys were attacking, attacking us and... And laughing at us when you were sending spell work our way and watching it all go down in the living room. I, yeah, you guys are sick. Taurus. Demolisher. Where are the demolishers? Welcome to your demolisher. You have the ability to step out of the past and let go of old energies. So when we're done with certain situations, we just detach and move forward. The past no longer holds us back anymore. No, the pain no longer holds us hostage anymore. And that's beautiful. Tell me more. You're intelligent. You're able to stimulate a person's mind, fusing sexuality and intelligence to achieve your goals. So you're, you have this, you're sexy and you're smart. Diviner, you have a natural talent for divination. So if you're not thinking about doing this, some of you guys are already doing this, and if you're thinking about doing this for yourself, go for it. There's a reason you want to because it's part of your destiny. And then descend it. There's more of the ancestors showing up. You came from a long line of healers, herbalists, and wise folk. There are ancient knowing resonates today deep in your spirit. So you've got some ancient knowledge, knowledge stored inside of you. You're a catalyst. You're a catalyst for people's growth. You are someone that evokes progress and change in people, making them aware that something could be better, leaving them forever changed. So you make a mark on people. You're meant to. Dream girl. You have many options in love, and that puts you in a place of power. You are the ultimate prize to win. So somebody looks at you as the ultimate prize to win. Dimension travel. You're able to open up gateways to realms outside of the dimension. It can be discovered naturally or open through the performance of rituals. Des decide on your realm. So you may be aware of this or you may not. Knowing. You have the ability to connect on a deeper level with people and talk in ways that they feel heard. So you make people feel heard. You make people feel heard. So if you're like me, you've had a lot of people that didn't hear you out or didn't want to see your side, but you always showed up and made other people feel heard and you never got that back. Like... You never, like, and it was meant to go that way because this, this program that we were in, like, the people that have been around us purposely tore us down. Like, these people were even getting money off of us for torturing us. It's sick and twisted, man. It stops now. It's all over with, and you guys are aware of this. That's why you guys are all scared right now. Taurus. Somebody's clueless. We have some people just acting naive right now. So, okay, thank you, Spirit. So these karmics that are trying to return, they're trying to act clueless like they don't know what they've done, but they know. Don't let them gaslight you. Tell me more. Exactly, they're stuck and powerless. Stuck and powerless. Somebody wanted your home business stuck and powerless. Somebody tried to, to make you not achieve your business. This copycat, if they've got some kind of home-based business, it is not flourishing. It is everything is stopped. They, they get nothing. They're the ones stuck and powerless now. And then there's this community of people that tried to come up against you, that everybody's involved. My old place, I used to work at it. My old job, I worked at a metaphysical store. And these girls in there, they act like they are people that are good. They're not. They're awful. They're wicked. 
they sit there and drink liquor in the back and they they're so not who they say they are they're evil the evil is being exposed you guys know this buckle up buttercups it's a coming i told you we're sent from heaven you cannot touch us touch not my anointing do my prophets no harm There's an investigation going on right now. There's some kind of evidence that people have been trying to twist and bend and, and remove. Everything's still coming out. You guys can't run from this, and you know this. You're taking off. Some of you guys could be relocating. And our children are involved. So my whole family tried to off me for money. My whole family's been against me my entire life. No wonder why everybody's been acting the way that they've been acting towards me. Y'all are fake. You guys are so freaking fake. And father, our fake father, I should say, I never came to your house and, and looked through your house to, to take that you wanted to give me because you were trying to attach something to it and give it to me. I'm on to you too. Go F off. You're a freaking coward. I never want to look at you again. You're awful. You're awful. Children. So again, our children are involved with this. Sometimes blood ain't blood. Sometimes it'd be the people you least expect that are stabbing you in the back. So, you were a gifted child and they knew this from the get-go. That's why they removed you from your real family. Sorry, guys. All right. So we got some crooked police officers, we got crooked judges, crooked lawyers. There's all kind of crookedness in this government system. It's all freaking bull crap. These people know that their time is up. It is. It's all coming out. And you know this. Got open relationships, freaking swingers, and all kinds of nasty-ass stuff going on. You guys are freaking sick. You all sit there in a circle and jerk each other off. Ooh, you guys are sick. You guys do not love yourselves. If you did, you would never be transferring that energy with just anybody. Do you understand that you give demons? But you don't care. You already are a demon, aren't you? You guys are freaking sick. But... Anytime we let anybody have access to our temple, the energy, the demons can attach to our energy field, to our vessels. That's why it's so important not to let anybody have access to us. The person's got all kinds of lustful energy around them, but they're looking at you. They all sit, like I said, they all sit around in circles, jerk each other. They play duck, duck, goose, and they duck, duck, sit on the crotch. <laughs> And they in the shadows, lurking in the background. Yeah, I know you are. These people have been following me around. They follow me. They've been trying to make me go crazy, make me think I'm paranoid. Like I, they, man, they flash wind lights in the windows. They got gang stalkers after me. So if you guys see any hate comments in my, in these, um, on the videos, that would be a gang stalker. Since they like attention, give them the attention. So these gang stalkers, they, they don't love themselves. They must, mommy and daddy must not love you guys because you guys have to gang stalk other people and you only do it because you don't have the, the, the truth about somebody. So you try to stalk somebody and you just, you're awful. You are awful. May you have the day that you deserve. It's the end. Devil ball suckers, I am taking so much pleasure off of taking you guys down. You have no idea. I love it. I love it. It's the end. It's a wrap. And you know this. You nasty ass. Oh, you guys got me cussing. You devil ball suckers. You hide yourself as love and light when you are none of those things. Some of you guys hide yourself behind churches. God is not happy with you guys at all. You got what's coming to you. You know this. We're a boss. We're bossing up. We're bosses. So there's like two bosses that we're meant to connect. I feel like you're still attracting your person towards you. You both have the same mentality here. This is a lonely road. It's so important to protect ourselves from these, these nasty people. 
Because all they want to do is deplete us, drain us. We are a power supply for these people. They benefit off of us. That's why they try to keep us around. They want to beat us down, but they beat us down so we stay put. We ain't doing that. I don't think so. You're not meant to fit in with everybody, and that's okay. Body pains. Shedding the old versions that are no longer necessary with who we are. That's why our awakenings are so important because we're waking up and we're realizing that this is all, it's all fake. It's all a game. We're in, yeah, it's, it's fake. It's a facade. The government tries to keep us on hamster wheels to keep control over us. We're moving forward. I'm telling you, there's some wealth attached to your name. And this is why all these people were out to get their, their greedy hands on it. So many people want, wanted to take your life because of the money. They all thought that they was going to achieve something. This ritual that they did, where they all sit and circle jerk each other, there's celebrities involved. There's all kinds of people involved. So, you know what's sick about you celebrities is you guys already have money, but you still want to take more. You guys are all about power and control. You're very greedy. You you are you guys are pathetic. You guys are so pathetic, man. Oh, I cannot wait to expose you guys. Your names are going to be coming out, by the way, and you know this. And if you even try to come for me, my ancestors are going to put you in a chokehold. And you know this. That's why you're scared. Everybody's scared. It's not fun anymore, is it? No. Get comfortable with this, because this is what you guys are going to be experiencing. Nothing but anxiety. You're never going to feel comfortable. You're just always going to be shaken up inside. And to my copycat. Oh, you got something special coming to you. Spiritual warrior. North node placements, what we're supposed to be doing this lifetime. These people did not ex realize that you are a spiritual warrior cloaked as an innocent little lamb that they wanted to sacrifice the chosen one until you pulled the big guns out and let them know who you are. Homie, don't play that. Got somebody here analyzing, deeply thinking. You're a smart woman. Yeah, we know a lot of things. We just let you guys think you got one over on us. So who's really the fool? There's that evil eye watching you. Yeah, I know you're watching me. They're watching me right now while I'm recording the video. They're sick. Sick and twisted. Prison time. I hope you guys go to prison. You guys deserve to go to prison. May you guys never be able to hurt anybody again. And if you guys have to get locked behind a bars to achieve that, so be it. Everybody's in a mental prison right now, I'll tell you that. And some people are definitely in fear of going to jail. The reap what you sell. Taurus. Trapped. There's no way to escape. This is what they wanted for you. Tried to keep you trapped. No way to escape. They're the ones feeling this way now. They, there's no running from this. Somebody wants to get to know you. There's definitely a love interest here that wants to get to know you. Tell me more. You're moving forward. Nobody can stop you. You're, it's getting good. Like so much is like the energy is just full force. We're, we're ready. To, we're ready for this. Let's get it. Betrayal and deception. Mm -hmm. In a web of secrets and deceit, trust becomes the ultimate casualty. Okay. So somebody's deception, the betrayal, it's all coming out. The spy who watched me, I'm telling you, this is what's going on. All these weird sadistic efforts are all watching from computer screens may my ancestors knock you upside this your head sitting in that chair you guys even so even try to watch me i hope my ancestors choke you out i hope they choke you hard my real dad's gonna choke you out and you know this lovers in a relationship so you're meant to have a connection with somebody here nights under the moon the moon is a melancholic and hang on, i didn't say that right the, I'm just going to say it like this. The moon is a, I can't say that word. The moon is a sphere as they walk through a sea of faces that don't say hi. So there's definitely something about full moons that they were trying to achieve these rituals. So I know personally, like these cults, what they tried to do, they tried to destiny swap with this copycat, tried to destiny swap with me before the eclipse take place. And it didn't happen. They're all effed. Somebody's got some strong feelings for you. Like they feel this chemistry for you. And there's somebody trying to return. So, so I wouldn't let these karmics around me. Action. Man who takes charge. Follow his un, uncavering. Un, heck, I need to get my reading glasses on. 
Seize control and secure his destiny. So you've got somebody here that looks at you as their destiny. Passion and a casual fling. Love takes a back seat as passion ignites in the scorching tail of fleeting desire. So this copycat, all the thing that they had going for them was using this lust on somebody. And then they got to pull a, a, another girl or a man in there and they all got to circle jerk each other. <laughs> oh, you guys are sick. May you choke on one of them toys that you guys play with. May you choke on one of those toys. Actually, let's go over here. All right, let's pull the crime cards out. I think I want to start doing crime readings because I'm ready to expose the wickedness because that's what I'm called to do. All right, Taurus. Tell about these people. So there's that feminine right there. This is the copycat. This is somebody that could have their own social media page, but this is somebody that has definitely been watching your social media. This is the copycat. And she's getting what's coming to her. She knows it. It's already happening. It's getting, it's going to get harder, honey. I promise you that. Somebody's about to go to a mental ward. Somebody is getting sick. I just heard endometriosis. Cancer. Ovarian cancer. Ovarian kiss. Kissed. Cysts. Mental anguish, I just heard. Somebody's about not to go. Somebody's health is about to take a turn. So this program tried to get you locked up in a mental ward. It didn't work. That's what the point was. And then somebody was trying to get you to have an accident. So I should have gotten in a car accident. Um, actually, it should have been, I think it was last August. I should have gotten a car wreck. And I tell you what, I felt this bubble around my car. I should have smashed in between two cars on the highway. And I felt this bubble around my car and it guided me right out of there. I am protected. You cannot take me out. Some of y'all about to have car accidents. Y'all about to start experiencing some freaky stuff. You guys already are experiencing it, aren't you? Yeah, you are. There's a contract with the marriage that's significant here. Justice. First off, there's crooked cops. There's a crooked system. And there's justice coming in for the crookedness. I'm just going to say that. Somebody was trying to get you locked up. Somebody was trying to achieve you getting in trouble, like false police reports. There was all kinds of bull crap going on behind the scenes here. Now somebody's trying to run from it. You cannot run from it. I'm sorry, but you cannot run. Trying to run from the secrets. Secret societies trying to run. All you guys are getting exposed. Underground tunnels. They got underground tunnels. That's where they take their, these little innocent kids and they take them and they... They do sick and twisted things with them. It's sick, man. And there's that surveillance. Been watching you everywhere you go. They even, my my job that I just left, they got to them too. That's why I didn't come back. And you guys know this. You know. You guys are dumb. Something about water. Something about an institution. Somebody's being institute and going towards an institution Somebody could have been in an institution. So it's almost like somebody was in an institution and somebody was like getting in somebody's mind like to come towards you. So it's almost like a, a, a hitman that had some kind of mental stuff going on. There's a burial. Somebody was trying to like hide a burial, a body. Somebody feels trapped because somebody knows what's coming for them because... Here comes the court case. The court case is coming. It's all coming to a head, and you guys are fully understanding this. You reap what you sow. And my real dad does not play about me, and he's down. Oh, he is smacking you guys down hard. Taurus. So, we got children's services involved as well. So, there's something to do with children's services. So, there's... So the CPS is involved as well. They're crooked. They 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 definitely were involved in trying to beat me down as well. My 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 oldest daughter's father, he did everything in his power to tear me down and made me look out to be like I was something awful. And he was and he was paid to do it. And I know you were. You're awful. May you have the day you deserve. I hope my ancestors choke you out hard. You and your your heifer of a wife. You both tried to make my life a living hell. I hope you both get what you deserve. Digging up dirt. 
So you were meant to be made out as just an awful mother, and then your kids jumped on board with this, and they, you know, they they confirmed it, so the story looked plausible, and then they all waited for you to take your life or get put in a, a loony bin, and then they could reap the rewards of all the money. Digging up dirt. So these cults were trying to dig up dirt, trying to do things to use against you, and they already knew all the dirt. They've been following us our whole entire life. Some kind of romantic love affair. Somebody was competing. Somebody felt threatened and competitive and very, very threatened by you. Somebody was trying to use lust and, and just their, their, their lust. That's all you got going for you is what's between your legs. And that's probably getting old and rotten, isn't it? With how much action you get there and all the crotches that you encounter. It's getting, it's getting a little, it's getting a little ran down, is it not? Competitive. This is somebody that feels threatened by you. They, this copycat wanted to compete for you. Well, guess what, copycat? You get what's coming to you. Somebody wishes they would have not looked up something. They wouldn't have done something here because it's blowing up in their face. Ego. Now we got everybody upset and crying. Your egos are a bruise. The, the truth hurts, doesn't it? Don't try to destroy somebody's life with lies when yours can be destroyed with the truth. That's facts. I'm a truth speaker. You cannot hurt me with my past. I have made peace with my past. It was meant to go that way so I could understand who I am. And you're not going to make me feel bad for it anymore. I'm over it. How'd that one get in there? I'll put it out here. Playing games, mind games. It was all about mind control. That's what this program does. This MK Ultra, it puts us in a mind. It's it's a to program our minds. As gifted children, and there's more of you out there. So if you feel like you're like this, start researching it, because that's what we get. We get plucked from our families. We they don't want us waking everybody up, but they can't stop it anymore. The world is shifting it. They know it's over with. And there's bad karma coming in for these people, and they know this. The ones that wish death on me, one of you guys' lives are about to be taken. You know this, right? That angel of death is coming for one of you. Who's it going to be? It's like Russian roulette with all of you. Whoever was involved can get it. That copycat might end up losing her life. You might lose your life. We're, the, we're, the, we're rising up to who we're supposed to be this entire time. We're stepping into our power. We've got a positive outcome for us. And this copycat was trying to copy everything about you. The way you dress, the way you think, the way you speak. Like I said, you want to copy the way we fart too? <laughs> I swear, you're a joke. Got some people reflecting now. So it's almost like you had some people that just didn't want to... There's no way they're chosen. God would... Look at everything she's done in her life. There's no way God is with her. God is with me. And he is very, very upset with all of you. Moving in silence. All these people have been moving in silence trying to make it seem like they ain't been trying to, to attack you and tear you down. It's all coming out. So this dark practitioner, those people have been getting readings on you. They've been paying to get work on you. These people have been recruiting up so many different people to work on you. Different countries, different cultures, none of it's working. It was working at one time, it's not working anymore. And this freaking fat heifer copycat got some kind of information on us through divination. Could have got a reading on us, it could be a reader themselves. Freaking fat head. Look at these, all these freaking fat heifers circling in a... Oh, yeah, we got this. We're going to take her out. We're going to sacrifice the chosen one, and we're going to reap the rewards. I don't think so. You're going to reap death now. I hope you know that. You're going to reap nothing but karma. Nothing is going to come into fruition for you. You're never, you're never going to have happiness. You're never going to have any more prosperity. Everything is coming to a, a complete standstill for you. Cock blocking. Since you want to cock block us, allow us to st extend that back to you now. My ancestors are all over you. Or the jackpot. And this is what people thought that they could cock block you. Like, oh, she's the jackpot. I'm going to be able to take her. I'm going to clean her out. And ha, ha, he, he. 
Let's watch her on the screen, how she's getting attacked with witchcraft. Ha ha he, look at her, look at the, the extension cord just blew up in her face. Why didn't she react like we wanted her to? I laughed at that. You saw me, is that all you got? Is that all you got? Y'all are sick. Where the jackpot? Stolen inheritance, yeah, we know about that too. Trust fund baby, uh-huh. My whole family was getting paid off of me. This whole entire time, you guys are sick. And oh, mother, your tears. I knew you were freaking, you are, you are so fake. So are you, 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 you so-called friend of mine. You know who I'm talking about. Don't call me ever again. I don't want nothing to do with you. You're, you're awful. May you have the day you deserve. Broke. You guys are about really to be broke. You guys really are going to have money issues because you can't pull off of our power supply anymore. Ain't getting nothing off of us. So prepare for you guys to go broke. Nothing's looking good for you guys. Because that's what you wanted for us. Somebody's about to be in the party scene and somebody's going to have like, I heard alcohol poisoning. Somebody's about to have alcohol poisoning. If there's drugs involved, somebody's about to have a drug overdose. So watch what you do. These energies were always partying, wanting to, to frame you and the environment that they are in. Now you got some energies trying to come back, trying to kiss butt. No, thank you. And got a bunch of people looking through the comments. So again, the gang stalkers, they're in the comments. So if you see those negative comments, give them the attention because that's what they want. Fake smiles. All fake. Fake and phony. That's You guys are so fake. Don't come around here with these fake smiles. We over it. Got somebody that's in their head about you. Processing and analyzing everything. These scarcity tactics did not work on us. We're very mentally strong. You know we are because you know who we are. You knew it from the beginning. That's why you did what you did. Put us in this program. Got this karmic, dangerous, toxic, and healthy, possessive karmic. This is what you were meant to be made out as. This is who the copycat is, in fact. Everybody got on board and come up with this storyline so they all could have the same storyline so you wouldn't be able to come out of it because of everybody on the same game plan. You guys still didn't achieve anything. You guys are being exposed for your wickedness that you are. Somebody's getting some kind of scoop. There's an investigation going on right now. And there's something about money. Everybody thought that they was going to get a payout on, on your head. We're dodging that. We're protected. You guys can't. You guys, it's over. It's a wrap. Taurus. We're beautiful. We're kind. We're generous. This copycat could never be us. These people are sick and twisted. Karma. Mm -hmm. We are your karma. You know this. There's some karmic debt that needs to be paid back around. We've already cleared up our karma off of our past life, and now we're ready for our amazing blessings, while you go towards nothing but darkness. Somebody's at their breaking point, wanting to open their heart to you. So there's definitely somebody here that wants to, somebody wants to get to know you. Like somebody is trying to figure out the right way to approach you. Could be a soulmate. This person feels like a deep connection with you. Somebody's stressed. Oh, y'all are stressed. Get comfortable with this feeling because that's all it's going to be for you guys. It's not comfortable being in this. Everybody's shocked. Everybody's shocked. Everybody involved, everybody that was listening to the bullcrap, everybody's getting to see it for what it is now, aren't we? Enjoy the show, you mother effers. Return. There are some people trying to figure out how to return. No, thank you. No, thank you. You move the way you moved, we're moving away from you. You don't get access to us anymore. It's done. It's a wrap. It's over with. So, All right, my beautiful Taurus. That was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Wednesday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you Wednesday.